Okay, here we go. This is a little camp. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> and, and we try never to do the same thing twice, which most people know. This is a whole brand new thing on Thanksgiving I dug up this time. This is all different. I mean, it's really different material. Totally than what we've ever done before. Like we got talking about Canada and other parts of the world where celebrating Thanksgiving this time. Well, see, we usually think of Thanksgiving as a United States holiday. Because I mean, if you go back in the history books, it's where the Pilgrims were thanking the Indians, which was the reason for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right. But the problem was is those Pilgrims were made up of a lot of people from different countries, and those people from the celebrated this first Thanksgiving then also spread out across other countries. I mean. For instance, uh, I but so their Thanksgiving is to celebrate other things. Yeah. Even though they call it the same Thanksgiving Day, they they're celebrating something else. It, it's a day of giving thanks. Okay. So, but uh, basically, it's a holiday celebrated primarily in the United States and Canada. It's celebrated each year on the second Monday of October in Canada and the fourth Thursday in November in the U.S. It falls on the same day as Columbus Day in the United States and Canada. Um, it often, the celebration often extends to the weekend that falls closest to the day it's celebrated. That's both Canada and the United States. I mean, called unions. And here in the United States, you often think of Thanksgiving as a day to eat a lot and the beginning of Christmas shopping. Although, holiday shopping seems to move up e each year a little bit they, 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 more. They started selling Christmas stuff um, in October. Didn't yeah, they? well, actually, before that, didn't they start? No. When they, they did back to school, yeah. and then they started holiday. Yeah, but they're doing the... They're they used to do Christmas after Thanksgiving. This time, I mean, Christmas they're after Halloween. They're doing their pre-Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales have already happened. It just That was before November. I know, so people, they, 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 they just don't, don't pay as much of attention to it because... Uh, because we know they know it doesn't. Black Friday doesn't happen until the day after well, Thanksgiving. We'll give you a hint. At the um, at the CEA, they were talking about how skewing all the figures, mm -hmm. because the figures are based upon what we know is the tradition of Black Friday and Cyber Monday things. And now that they're doing them in July, you know, Thanksgiving in July, Christmas in Connecticut in, in August. But uh, uh, the reason the first Thanksgiving in Canada goes back to the explorer. Martin, I haven't heard Margaret Frobisher in a long time. Yeah. This is the, this was written by an Englishman in uh, 1925. Uh, he'd been trying to find the Northwest Pass. That's where, remember, Northwest Passage to the Pacific Ocean. It does exist, folks. They actually did it. They've done a, it, it, you know, an icebreaker managed to do it. It was a Russian icebreaker, naturally. On the, uh, basically on his third and final voyage to these regions in 1578, he held a formal ceremony in Florbusher Bay in, ba uh, in Baffin Island in present-day Navuga to give thanks to God and a service uh, and a service minister by the preacher Robert Waffall. They celebrated communion, the first ever in these regions. Uh, the, years later, this traditional feast will continue as more settlers see that's their Thanksgiving in October. Mm -hmm. So it means that it is a it is, it is a word. It is giving thanks. Ah. And basically what it is is somebody, I guess it's, it's sexier to say thanksgiving than it is giving thanks. What's, Actually, one is more, more with one religious than the other. One flows. But Thanksgiving was never religious. Yeah, but we, we, we're doing the Canadian first because... You, you because know, it comes okay, earlier okay. in the year. And guess where I found the new information on Thanksgiving? From Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, we, we can do the. Oh, uh, you got turkey in Canada. Well, actually, let's take a Hold on, let's take a look. Oh. I know. Actually, I've seen that she does. I don't, I spring these things on her every year. Did you realize that this is our, our sixth time of doing these things? Sixth. Oh, okay. So, the Charles Wayne Jeffrey. See, here in the United States, we the Pilgrims are thanking the Indians for helping him. This, the Charles William Jeffries, um, wasn't in Thanks for the Harvest, which is what you would think Thanksgiving would typically be for. Um, another, but for surviving the long journey from England um, to Canada. Basically, they didn't die. Yeah, they survived, so they, they were survived. giving thanks. They didn't find the Northwest Passage, which does exist, but it's never free of ice. So they actually they were smart. Whoever dreamed that thing up actually knew there had to be because there's water all the way. But there's ice. Only an icebreaker can make your way through it. Well, and then the other reason for Thanksgiving were all the French settlers that came to Canada. 
Um, or they came to the New France. They come to, they come to there. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> With explorer Samuel de Champlain, or Cha oh, Champlain, Samuel they say, du Champlain, is in French. Samuel de Champlain, yes. the great Champlain. Which was, that was in thanking them for the harvest. Yeah. Uh, the French settlers in the area typically had feasts at the end of the harvest season. Uh, Champlain had proposed for the creation of the Order of Cheer in 1606, which is basically this was written by Jan William Jeffries in 25 about that on that dot. 1606, that goes back a long time ago. Yeah. I mean, well, that's before, before the, us, the, which is yeah. funny. Uh, and, Are you uh, sure they're just like not merging two holidays or they're just calling them because they call them Thanksgiving? Okay. Uh, Thanks, uh, okay. Let's Thanksgiving. Put it this way. What separates the Americans from the British? What? A, a common language spoken at different means. We speak exactly the same as the Canadians, uh -huh. uh, other than the French Canadian, and they speak it their own way. But if you go to the islands, then and you actually, can speak And actually, their language. use of the language is very similar to ours, whereas yeah. the British English can be totally different. Oh, just the totally King's different. English, you must speak everything exactly precisely. But uh, mm -hmm. the Canadians, they screw up the words just the same as we do. Folks. Eh? Yeah. Well, because it's, they're really, okay, there's like nine zillion miles of Canada. You can come and go across. My family has half, half the bloody property on the back of our properties in Canada. You want to go into Canada to go pick? Okay, here's the trick is, my father would go to the property up in the northern United States because there was no tax on the China cigarettes in Canada. But he'd walk out the back door and mother would say, where's your dad going? Going to get cigarettes. He wasn't supposed to be. She, because you know, he'd come back and they said, What are we supposed to do with those? Go back to California. <laughs> yeah. Because there were no taxes on cigarettes in Canada, you know. But um, uh, more celebration of the Harmony came. Uh, new immigrants to the country, such as the Irish, the Scottish, and the Germans, would add their own traditions. And, and, and <laughs> basically, many of the aspects of Thanksgiving, such as the turkey, were incorporated in the United Empire loyalists began to flee from the United States during the American Revolution settled in Canada. Because what happened was, um, the people when they lost the war, the Revolutionary War, they didn't have any place to go because they weren't going to take them on the boats back across the whole country. So they went to Canada. And basically, that's why you get pissed off at the Canada and it's a lot. Basically, they basically get unhappy at a lot of Americans mm -hmm. about they, especially if you insult their beer. Mm -hmm. Which my father used to say, it was, you know, the only thing worse than Japanese Sapporo beer what? was Canadian beer because they used the same jock strap to filter it. Oh, God. Okay. That's Canadian beer, Molson? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, here we got uh, basically the first Thanksgiving. In the United States, the modern Thanksgiving holiday tradition traces itself back to 1621. It's actually after the mm -hmm. Canadian. Which was 1606. Uh, they said there was evidence of earlier celebration by the Spanish explorers in Florida, which actually beat the people here also. Everybody beat the people here, and nobody thought of claiming the cruddy land, folks, which is un... Generally, these are explorers, they always claim everything. Else. I know, this was in 1565. You know why? Because they didn't think they were there. They oh, thought they were somewhere else. They well, thought... wait a minute, did they say in 1492 Columbus sailed the ocean blue? Yeah. Yeah, which is before then. Uh, what happened was people have been going back and forth for a long time. Just, you know, so, but, um, uh, let's see, the initial Thanksgiving in Virginia in 1619 was prompted by the colonist leaders on the anniversary of the settlement, the Plymouth Feast. These were Puritans, folks. These were guys that didn't even smooch their girlfriend until they were married for a decade. They said, well, how, what? how did you have children? Some of them didn't wait. <laughs> She knows how that works. Okay, uh, what is the difference between a Puritan child and a child of a religious minister today? What? Not a whole lot. <laughs> you know, have you heard the one about the minister's daughter? They've been telling that one for 3,000 years. <laughs> yeah. Want to have a good time? Go find the minister's daughter. So, uh, in later years, the tradition was continued by civil leaders such as Governor Bradford, uh, who celebration in 1623. Well, the Plymouth Colony did not have enough food to feed all of the Hutter colonists. The Native yes. Indians helped the pilgrims, which is a big deal. Basically, the practice of holding an annual harvest festival like this did not become a regular affair in New England, though, until the 1660s. Um, uh, basically, uh, pilgrims may have been influenced by Washington Annual Service on Thanksgiving for the relief of the siege of Leiden in 1570. 
before while they were staying in Leiden because they were running from the um, people that were trying to kill them. So. Oh. Yeah, but um, here's a. But here's the problem was, is that it, it, uh, this is where the new stuff comes in. It's under great debate over where the first Thanksgiving was actually held. Well, yeah, I could see that. Well, because what happens is when the pilgrims with the Indians, right? Yeah. You can well, maybe more clearly define when that happened. I know. But, but after the other ones, because they're all call, calling those days as thanks, right? Yeah, it's been going on. They're for, renaming them, so they're changing how. It's been going is. on for like a hundred years in one form or another. Mm -hmm. So what happens was, well, okay, I can tell you at this that a, a, a little old man. You know, the revisiting history. Yeah, a little old man was basically walking through the country, and he had a little little knapsack over his shoulders, and he sat there and scribbled something down on a piece of paper, and he said, "Give this to people, and and for giving you know, for giving thanks." And they said, "Well, what this is?" And he said, "It is a Hallmark Thanksgiving card." <laughs> Not always done. I thought it was. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, what do we got? So there was one point the first Thanksgiving was held in Virginia. They turned out the first Thanksgiving was actually held in Virginia, not in Plymouth. The Thanksgiving services were actually routine, you know, years earlier in other places. Mm -hmm. well, they've been coming. This country has been occupied for over a hundred years. Okay. You know, like, you know, Pocahontas and John Smith. Okay, the, all they had to do was go up the road a bit, and there would have been more civilization, folks. So, that, okay. We were really, we were really walked all over by the time the pilgrims had came there. If you hadn't been in this country and decided not to like it, you weren't really an explorer. Well, because they couldn't find gold and stuff. They thought this was India, for Christ's sake. That's why they call the Indians Indian. They thought they discovered India. And then they, God, you know, since they had never been to India, those are Indians. Uh, we're looking for the spices. They don't have spices. Uh, and then they said, well, what's that stuff you're smoking? Who like stuff we smoke? Mm -hmm. Oh, good, we got spices. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they also we have okay. Um, we're talking um, pepper. Pepper is an American spice, folks. Mm -hmm. So we also had got off of larger amounts of salt than other people did too. So they did start discovering things that we actually could. We said, but we should. But they use it to preserve things. You know, are you sure this is in India? No, it's not India. <laughs> No, they, 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 they did not speak like this. They go to the English. They go to the American Indian. Uh, I, you know, I am not an Indian. I am from the United States. I do not come from that place where you talk that we come from. Mm -hmm. I am not an Indian Indian. I am an Indian. What's the difference? Because American Indians go how? Indian Indians go, we do not go how. <laughs> <I'm> bad. <laughs> Don't put an actor in front of a camera. <laughs> okay. Hey, at least we get a fixing a day of the holiday now. I, I will. I will do this and help him. What? You can read it. Next <laughs> time. Oh, I was like, well, he's in bag me, so I, I can't even. I'm going. What? My eyes don't go back that far. That's why I have to turn my head. Yeah. Well, she's watching the monitor, so I can't hide. Oh no! I had, that's how I had to look in back of my head. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get I'm old. I can't get the <laughs> We do not do these things twice the same way. I've ran out of things to talk about my family on this holiday, folks. And one of the reasons in Canada they say they started celebrating earlier is that it's further north. And so it's... The weather sucks sooner. <laughs> so the harvest season ends sooner. Um, they didn't have a fixed date until the late 19th century. In part of the Canadian Confederation, many of the individual colonial governors um, and declared their own days of Thanksgiving. But the first official Canadian Thanksgiving occurred on April 15th, which has nothing to do with October. <laughs> it's the beginning of the season. It's the planting season. It's not the harvest. Somebody should tell those Canadians. I could call them Canucks. Well, because I'm laughing because they're sitting there talking about Thanksgiving being in October, right? And now it says the first show. First official Canadian Thanksgiving occurred on April 15, 1872, when the nation was celebrating the Prince of Wales' recovery from a serious illness. But by the end of the 19th century, it moved to the end. Um, it was normally celebrated on November 6. Um, but when World War One ended, the Armistice Day holiday were usually held during the same week. So to prevent them from clashing, 
See, th this is where people get involved. They're like, oh no, we want to celebrate, space them out so we can have <laughs> more holidays. Yeah, it's called. And okay. we don't want to combine the holidays what together. What is the timetable when they're changing all of this, finalizing it? It's oh. when unions became big and powerful. So in 1957, the Canadian Parliament proclaimed Thanksgiving to be observed on its present day on the second Monday of October. It's very cold in Canada. That's why it took us so long to come under the official time. And since 1971, when the American Uniform Monday Holiday Act took effect, American Union. American Uniform Monday Holiday. What in the world? <laughs> it's called Unions. Uniform Monday Holiday. Oh, okay. oh, wait a minute. Uniform Monday Holiday Act. So basically, we're going to arrange all of these holidays so they fall on Mondays? That's so the Union can have a three-day holiday. And the American observance of Columbus Day has coincided with the Canadian observance of Thanksgiving. And, and believe me, it doesn't anymore because the Americans are basically... Columbus Day is not politically correct. I could do a Columbus Day thing. In this oh, really? Right? Maybe next year I should piss people off. Oh, wait a minute. Day. Isn't November 11th? Oh, that's Veterans it's Day. It's Veterans Day, yeah. It's our Veterans Day. Oh, yeah. We should be talking about Veterans Day. <gasps> uh, oh. I know. Well, I know, but we don't know what we're going to be talking about. Actually, we know we're talking about on Veterans Day. You mean, this is being done in advance? Well, because if you see us doing this, we are at a trade show. Well, and sometimes the days that, here's part of it is, is you've got to film it ahead of time so it's ready because sometimes your schedule changes and you could miss a holiday. Yeah, we have, we have missed holidays, which is why we do them in advance. Uh, but uh, let's see, uh, Thanksgiving in the United States, much like Canada, was served on various days throughout the history. The dates of Thanksgiving in the year of the Founding Fathers until the time of Lincoln had been decided by each state in various dates. The first Thanksgiving celebrated on the same day by all states was in 1863. Abraham Lincoln basically put them all together. The final Thursday in November had become the customary date of Thanksgiving in most U.S. states by the beginning of the 20th century. And so in effect, uh, an effort by Abraham Lincoln influenced by the campaigning of, uh, of Sarah Joseph of Hale. I think basically that's... Uh, Oh. Joseph. Yeah. Um, to foster a sense of American unity between the North and South. And they proclaimed the date to be the what? Final. The final. <laughs>